Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, we're going to JMX shopping. I'm going to be showing you all the new stuff in the beauty section from the past couple of weeks. We have a lot of exciting makeup things, of course, body care, and they have so many gift sets right now. There's so many fun gift ideas, perfume, and we're going to cover it all. So if that interests you, let's go ahead and get to shopping. Okay, so we have a lot of different new makeup here. It's pretty stacked up. I am seeing more benefit stuff I found a couple of kits from them a few weeks ago but they have this which has some of their like newer blushes this is what a beach and it has a mini blush and a bronzer inside with hula and also Shelly which is one of my favorite colors it says it's originally 28 it's here for $14.99 I've never seen this set before so that's actually pretty cool and then these are fairly recent as well from Benefit. They came out with these like duos not too long ago this year actually. This is Hula Treasure Island. I didn't see any other colors, just this one so far. But it comes with, I think, maybe their darker Hula and then a blush, which I cannot read what these are. Let me see if this one... No, it's covering up the shades. I'll have to find it and let you guys know. But I think that is their deeper one that they have here but pretty good price on it. Even more new benefits. So they have a lot from the brand here right now. These are their moisturizing lip balms. I feel like not many people talked about these very much, so I'm not surprised to see them here. But we have two colors here. Wine and peach pink. These are only $7.99 each, so not too bad. And then they have these, which I think are a bit older from Urban Decay. It's these bronzers. But I remember these coming out like maybe four years ago or more. This is in Sunkiss for $9.99. I don't even know if they still sell these. This is bronze. I found this milk blush. I think this is one of their newer ones too that they kind of redid. I don't know if this is their full size now because I know they went a lot smaller. This one is $7.99 in the shade Swerve. Looks like a fun like orange. Okay, I also found these from Milk Makeup. Have we seen these here before? I feel like we've seen something similar, but I found a couple of their glossy lip plumpers. Let's see, we got wired and we have their clear version and these are $8.99. Also found this from Buxom, which I haven't seen anything from them in a while. This is the Plump on the Double Lip Plumping Duo Set. And it has their Plump Line Lip Liner in Hush Hush and also their uh, mini full-on lip cream in Hot Toddy for, again, $9.99. I kind of shared this in my last video. I think it was in one of the um, locked up like glass containers, but now it's out <laughs> open. They have the Too Faced Born This Way Sunset Stripped Palette for $24.99. I think this is a similar price that you can get at like Old Sun stuff because I think this palette is going to be discontinued eventually, but I will say it actually is a really good one. I did a look with it the other day and I really love the formula in this one. It's such a pretty one. It's like nice warm neutrals and the shimmers are really nice. Looking over in fragrance, I spotted the Charlie D'Amelio perfume here, Born Dreamer. This one was at Ulta for a bit, so kind of shocked to see it here and it's really cheap too, only $16.99 for 1.7 ounces. I feel like it's around the same price usually as the Ariana Grande perfumes, but yeah, crazy to see that here already because it's fairly new, I would say. I always love these little sets from Le Monde Gourmand to try out their fragrances. This is the Creme de la Creme set. It has a bunch of their best sellers like Creme Vanilla, the Acai, the Santal one. This is for $12.99. They have so many self-care things for like holiday gift ideas. This is a really fun scrub set. This is like nine little travel size scrubs. Tons of different scents from Beauty Con concepts. This is $16.99. This is so cute too. They have this lip balm collection. This one has a little rip in it, but it has a ton of lip balms. If you guys find this one from Ellen Tracy, it has like a vanilla cake, honey almond, sugar plum for $4.99. And I'm seeing like lots of Hello Kitty stuff too. Like a projection light. That's interesting. Is it supposed to illuminate a Hello Kitty on the wall? I don't understand. And then... This is a nice creme shop Hello Kitty set with a bunch of different masks and stuff. I know this stuff is always very popular. And then they even have a little Hello Kitty creme shop advent calendar down here. How cute is that? 10 days of a super cute beauty mystery advent calendar with a bunch of different days inside. 
That's pretty cute. This one is $29.99. I wonder what's all inside. It looks like different like beauty blenders, nail stuff, just kind of random things. I also have some body shop sets. This one has a nice little case in it. It's a strawberry gift case. So it comes with shower gel, a body yogurt, and a strawberry hand cream. I'm assuming they're mostly minis, and that one's $14.99. I also have a nice philosophy skincare set. We usually just see body care, but this has like a bunch of their Hope line, like Hope in a Jar. Peeling Mousse is a multitasking moisturizer and a couple like mini serums and eye products. This is originally $52. It's here for $29. And this is a really cute Creme Shop Hello Kitty hand cream set. They always make so many different scents. I wonder if they're actually really good. They have the cocoa butter, sweet peppermint, and then the frog one is green tea. This one is $14.99 and you get the super cute little gingerbread house box. So my last video I found that first wheel of like body scrubs, but now they have a first wheel of beauty blenders. This one is $34.99 by the Polish brand and it does move like the other one too. Really fun. I don't know why you need 36 sponges, but I mean, it is cute. Actually, it's $24.99, not $34. Over in all the, like the cups and stuff and mugs, um, it looks like they're already putting out some Valentine's Day stuff, which is crazy, but I feel like all the pink just looks like Valentine's Day, like that has to be. Little Hello Kitty. So they're always just really early when it comes to the holiday decor. Look at this like set of cups. I actually really like this design. It's very pretty. This is $9.99. Just something kind of different. They have it in like iridescent purple as well, but these have like a light kind of milky iridescent pink. Also these, I'm just, I love all the bling. These are pretty. Look at that. These are by Cupcakes and Cashmere. Of course, I always love everything from this brand. These are $12.99. Speaking of Valentine's, I found the whole section already, which I have to say, I do love Valentine's Day decor because it's always so cute and like all things pink. Like, look at these little balloon letters. I feel like you always have to get the good stuff first or they do like sell out really quick. They have tons of cute mugs. I love all the hearts. Yeah, I'm tempted because I love this sign already. It's so cute. How much is it? $9.99. Not too bad. I'm excited to see what kind of blankets still come out for Valentine's Day because I feel like they're going to have some really cute ones. But so far, they just have some different, like, Snoopy ones so far. And this, like, smiley face one, which is pretty cute. Already found this really cute heart ombre pillow, of course, by Cupcakes and Cashmere, <laughs> which I seem to love. This is $16.99. I was just scanning the sweaters real quick. I don't go the clothes too much, but this is so cute. It's like a little Barbie Christmas sweater. How darling. I love all the colors in it. It's definitely more oversized fit. $19.99. Love it. Must be like a Barbie <laughs> shipment because I found this little Barbie crew neck as well. This one's more lightweight. This is $19.99. This is cute too. They have like a poison crew. Uh, it has little bling on the letters. That's so fun. Let's see, this one is $19.99 as well. So many more gift sets everywhere, oh my goodness. Look at these little cups. They have Santa Baby and then little beauty sponges for $9.99. It's a really big cup. And then this one has little Christmas tree shaped sponges as well. And it says always be merry. I don't know why I think these are cute too. They're like fry socks, but I love that they come in like a little fry box and they're very bright colors too. Let's see, this is $4.99. So much different jewelry too. They have so many earrings. I really like this brand House of Harlow. They have tons of different little hoop sets. I feel like they're good quality. They just range from like $12.99 to $19.99 depending on the different set. They have so many different ones. So how pretty is all this Kate Spade jewelry? I love all the heart earrings, these crystal ones. Only $16.99, little pearls. These are so pretty. They have matching necklaces as well for $19. Love the emerald green too. They have tons of pretty blingy like holiday bags as well. Like this one's $39 from Madison West. So many pretty styles here. That's where I went to had some more buxom stuff. So they actually have some of their lip creams here. This was, I think, a collection from a couple years ago. They did like a tropical one. This is the Tulum Teeny Gloss for $7.99. Also have the Ibiza Bomb Shade. And then these, I 
think are a little bit older. I remember finding this like years ago. So I don't know about these. This is like a collection um, with makeup by Samuel for $7.99. But in my last video, we found a couple Huda palettes. I just found a few more, some really good ones actually from their smaller ones. So they had the Nude Rich, which is definitely one of their best ones. I think it's such a pretty neutral kind of pinky leaning palette. This is for $14.99. So that's exciting. Even though I do wish those were a little bit cheaper here. This one is their uh, Toffee Brown one, which is also a really nice palette from them. Also $14.99. Again, nice neutrals. They have a ton of different stuff over here. Tons of restocks on the Too Faced Brow uh, Brush On Fluffy Brow Gel for $9.99. A bunch of restocks on the One Size Matte like Liquid Eyeshadows for $6.99. They also have a bunch of Glamnetic stuff, which is nice. I really like their lashes. They're just easy to put on and off. I use them a lot of times for tutorials and stuff. Look at all of this Glamnetic too. It's like taking over. They have just their felt tip magnetic liner, which you just put this on as a normal liquid liner And then your lashes will stick on with since it is like a magnetic liner. This is $7.99 They have it also in like their cocoa shade, which is more of a brown and then they have this deep space uh, Color as well, which maybe that is like maybe a navy yeah, they have tons of that, and then here's the Black Magic one. So if you need to restock on your Glamnetic liner, they have so much here at the stores. But I haven't seen any lashes yet to go with them. And then they did restock on the Urban Decay Lash Freak mini size. I wonder, if they, do they still sell this? I feel like it wasn't that good. This is $5.99. So exciting to see even more new Give Beauty products here. I always really like their stuff and it pretty much all ends up here at TJ Maxx. And it's like good quality, I don't know. It's, I just feel like maybe they don't do enough advertisement or what, but I really love their stuff. So this is their Longwear Mousse Eyeshadow. I actually have not tried these yet. I found two shades, the Bouncing Shoes and Top Knot. I might pick up one to try. These are only $5.99, so it's a really great savings. I've also been dying to try. This one looks a little messy, but these little sparkles that she came out with, little eye glitters, I found two shades in Twinkle and Dazzle. You guys know how much I love glitter, so I'm curious to try these. I think they're a loose formula. I don't think they're like creamy. They're only $5.99 as well, but I might have to pick one of these up as well to try it. This looks like maybe a Tom Ford dupe scent. This is the red cherry, so it looks like a dupe for Lost Cherry. I think they have a Baccarat dupe in those um, cases over there too. You'll have to excuse my camera today because I don't know what is wrong with it, but the focus is acting very odd, but I've been trying to fix it and it's not really working. They have a bunch of these Tokyo Milk scents, which I think is a pretty popular brand. This is 20,000 Flowers Under the Sea for $14.99. They also have Song of the Siren. I haven't tried any of those, so I'm not sure if they're any good. In the makeup, they have a new Anastasia lip set. It's a lip liner trio here with some minis. Originally $24, this is $12.99. Anyways, they had a bunch of those. There is some new Jaclyn products as well I haven't seen yet. This is a blurring cheek tint. So I think a liquid blush for $9.99. And then this is, it says Vanity Light Glazed Luminizer. Maybe this was from one of her summer collections, maybe this year for $9.99. Some different MAC lipstick restocks here. And then they also had this from the Wet n Wild Alice in Wonderland collection, which didn't come out too long ago, so that's actually really cool. This is the bronzer in tea. Anyone has some shimmer to it, this is $5.99. And then they had another benefit little set here. This has one of my favorite mascaras, the Bad Gal Bang. Comes with a full size in a mini for $16.99, originally $29. This is fun too. I found something from the Makeup Revolution Monsters University collection. That was such a cute collection. This is just a lip product, one of the lipsticks for $3.99. There's another Alice Wet n Wild item, the liquid liner for, let's see, $3.99. And then this, I don't even think I tried this one. I know they sent me a few things from the collection. It's another liquid eyeliner. That one looks more pink. Ooh, they have the highlighter too. This is one of my favorites in the line, the Curiouser and Curiouser Highlight for $5.99.
Okay, I found this new little palette from Too Faced. I'm not really sure if I've ever seen this. I've seen their single diamond light highlighters, but this is like a little highlight trio, which I'm pretty sure I'm up to date on most of their stuff, but yeah, I've never seen this one, so I don't know if it was like a QVC exclusive or something, but it looks pretty. It has like this violet diamond color, a pink ice, and a champagne glow. I always loved this formula from them. So I'm really curious about this. It is going for $19.99 here. Also found a new product here from Smashbox from their Halo collection. This is a like little cheek tint liquid formula in the color Wisteria, which looks like a nice kind of rosy pink. This is only $9.99. Let me know if you guys have tried these because I'm curious about them. I know their Halo line is pretty popular. Another Huda find here. This is one of their older launches, the Tantor Contour from them. This is for $12.99. I'm curious if they will come out with a new cream bronzer because I feel like they've done a lot of newer cream blushes. And this one's a little bit on the older side. I feel like every store has had different Huda products though, so they're a little hard to find. Uh, this is the shade Rich. They also have tons of restocks on the KVD Good Apple Balm Foundation. This is $19.99. I have a feeling they're going to discontinue that one since they came out with the liquid version. And then these are a new find from KVD, the Dazzle Sticks. I think these are pretty popular from them. They're super metallic eyeshadows. They have a green flash color and then this more red toned heat burst, but they're super pretty on the eyes. These are $9.99. I have not seen Kaja here in a bit, but they have a bunch of their Bento Trio shadows here. This one is the Bouncy Shimmer Trio in Orange Blossom. These are $9.99. We also have the Glowing Guava. And this one is the Toasted Caramel. I think these are some of their older ones too. I know they came out with some new shades this year, but these are pretty good. They're like a little eyeshadow trio that each shade pops up. It's kind of fun. Love their packaging. This I've never seen at TJ Maxx. I'm just checking out all the perfumes in their little glass cases. And they have the Daisy Marc Jacobs Skies version. I think this one came out two years ago, but I haven't seen it at any discount stores yet. I bought the Daisy Love Skies version, which is my favorite if you like sweeter scents. So this one's a little more fresh. It's going for $49.99 for the 1.6 ounce, but I found that checking different TJ Maxx's, they always have a couple different perfumes at each one, but they have quite a few different really good sets. Like there's a Jimmy Choo Fever set down there that I can't see the price of. But yeah, a lot of these I've kind of gone over in previous videos, but here's just a little overview for you. Mostly excited for that Daisy at Marc Jacobs. Steven Madden has these really fun bag of sets. It comes with like a nice little duffel. This one's a see-through one. It has like a stocking hat, a scarf inside, and a little mini bag as well. So you get two bags in one. It is $79. I feel like these were pretty viral on TikTok. They have it in the blue as well. And then they have like this larger one that looks almost like a backpack here. That beanie is really cute. And then they have that one in black and the pink as well. So these are just really fun, I feel like, gift ideas. And I feel like these will sell out really fast. Another really pretty juicy bag. This is kind of like the bowler bag style with the bling juicy on it. Very cute. That one's 29 they have a cute little Snoopy Christmas wreath bag for $29. As you can see, they are very stocked up <laughs> on bags right now. Oh, look at these little Disney bags. These look like, is this Loungefly? Or is this knockoff Loungefly? No, it really is. That's crazy. I've never seen actual Loungeflies here, and I think they have like a whole collection. Because I think those are all Loungeflies too. Wow, I'm kind of shocked right now. Never seen these here before, but this is like the little Dumbo. It looks like those little VCR tapes from back in the day or a book. Okay, this one opens up to how cute. These are also really expensive normally, so I'm curious to see how much it is. Oh my gosh, that price is too good. Wow, okay, let's go look at these two because I'm pretty sure these are also Loungefly. They have the... Um, Evil Stepsisters, the Cinderella here, and the Stepmother. Oh my gosh, 29 That's so cheap for these. They have an Aladdin one. Look at this. Uh, this is a little Christmas tree with Chip and Dale for 29 
They have a Marvel one. That's like floral. <laughs> Pinocchio. I think this might be, is this, I think this is the knockoff. No, that's a real lounge slide too. These are the knockoff ones. But yeah, there's a frozen one with Olaf. So many of the Aladdin, it looks like. Oh, here's another Cinderella. And then, yeah, I think that's mostly it, but you guys, how crazy is that? I'm excited to be on the lookout for these now and stock up for my Disney trips. Looking up here, this is kind of exciting. They have the Revolution Grinch Advent Calendar here, which it's a little late to start. Well, I guess 12 days, so you do have time. This is $9.99, and it comes with a bunch of stuff from the collection. I think that's a great deal, and I thought that this was actually a really good collection, so this is a fun little Advent Calendar that they have here. That's it for these TJ Maxx finds. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what your favorite find was in the comments i think mine was definitely the give beauty products that we found at the end of the video and i was also so shocked to find that charlie d'amelio perfume but let me know your finds as well and i'll see you in my next one bye guys <laughs>